friends, I have a very exciting true crime update that I just had to tell you about. And I was about to go to bed and I almost forgot to tell you. Okay, so look, this is what happened. Remember back like mm, three or four weeks ago when um, I got a call from an insurance company that a worker who had been at my house claimed to have been burned by my hot water heater and I was livid, livid, I tell you. I was supposed to be on here talking about Murdoch that day, but I was like, oh, no, 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 no. This sucker came to my house, fixed my hot, he didn't fix the hot water heater. He was supposed to be in the crawl space, fixing all the crawl spacey type things. Um, And he was messing with my hot water heater. He shouldn't have been touching my hot water heater at all. But I was like, okay, whatever. This man knows what he's doing. He should have just walked on past it and left it alone. And then I went on about my business, but not before I did the thing that any good homeowner should do. And that is that I baked, I baked hot, fresh, homemade blueberry muffins with a crumb topping for the workers. Because that's what I do when people come to my house. I am a lady. I am a homemaker. I know how to make guests feel welcome. Even if you are in a hazmat suit in the crawl space of my basement, cleaning a burst pipe, oh, I will bake you some nice hot homemade muffins. So these guys are at my house all day. They got the work done. They did a beautiful job. Everything got cleaned out. I was like, oh, they took all the sewage because a pipe burst in the kitchen child and left a mess in that crawl space. But we didn't know about it. So it made a smell in the house, whatever. So the plumber came, he fixed the crawl space. The plumber said, call this company and they will clean out the mess that's in the crawl space. So the company came, they cleaned out the hazardous materials. I baked the muffins like one does. And then like three, four weeks go by and I get a letter from my insurance company like, oh, there's a mechanic's lien or whatever on your house because we're going to pay all these thousands of dollars to a man who has burned at your house. What? Oh, no, 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 no. It was freezing cold. Why was he burned in the freezing cold? What happened? So apparently he said that my hot water heater had exploded spewing hot water onto his ankle and he was out of work for two or three weeks while well, he is a lime sack of sugar because when I took them the hot homemade blueberry muffins that I made for them with the crumb topping um everybody seemed fine nobody seemed injured nobody was leaping link le I can't even say the word limping around Everybody was in perfect health. And now I was like, oh, he's running some kind of scam and I will not have it. So I was like, excuse me. I wrote a nice letter. I got that letter in the mail. Oh, I was furious. I wrote a strongly worded email. And I was like, listen, your people came to my house. They did a nice job. I don't know why the man was touching a hot water heater. He didn't need to touch a hot water heater at all. He just needed to scoop the muck out of the basement and carry his behind on back to wherever. Additionally, I baked muffins. Those muffins had organic blueberries and a crumb topping. And so the lady was like, oh, ma'am, um, I'm sorry. We will look into it. So when she called me, I told them what for. And I told them about the blueberry muffins with the crumb topping. And then when the insurance lady called, again, I explained my situation. I explained the crumb topping. And I was like, and those blueberries were from Lidl. You know, when you get them from Lidl, they are fresh straight out of the package, even though it's wintertime. And blueberries are not even in season in New Jersey. Yet these suckers had hot homemade blueberry blueberry muffins with the crumb topping. Anyway, so I got a phone call when I was at work a couple of weeks ago and they were like, ma'am, we understand that you're upset. Um, let us explain. We're going to go back and maybe it was a misunderstanding. I was like, mm -hmm, okay. So my coworker is like, what were you ranting about a crumb topping? And I was like, girl. So I told her the whole story, just like I just told you. So today, I get a call from East Brunswick, New Jersey. Well, I don't know nobody in East Brunswick, New Jersey. I was like, is this scam likely? Is this somebody telling me that my student loan could be consolidated or whatever? I don't need your consolidation. I need y'all to quit playing on my phone. So she was like, hi, ma'am. Hey, it's Mrs. Such and Such from So and So Company. We just wanted to let you know that um, we went back and we spoke to the worker. Apparently, it was a misunderstanding. I was like, oh, well, thank you so much for your call. You know what I think did the trick? That crumb topping. I'm telling you right now, this could be an advertisement for Lidl's Blueberry. Do you shop at Lidl? Do you have a Lidl where you live? Honey, if you don't have a Lidl where you live, you need to write to somebody. Lidl has the best blueberries. They are fresh no matter what time of year you get them. Even if blueberries are out of season, honey, Lidl will ship in the freshest blueberries. And you know what sealed the deal? Crumb topping. All right, that's all. 
it, it, the true crime in all of this was it was a crime that that sucker thought he was going to get some extra money out of me. Put a mechanics lane on my house. I wish you would. And I made you blueberry muffins with a crumb topping. Anyway, so my peace muffins have saved the day. And um, probably my big mouth has some to do with it. Now, everybody down at Washington Mutual and Liberty Mutual and all of the mutual insurance companies know don't you mess with that lady in New Jersey with her crumb topping. Okay, y'all have a good night now. Bye.